Hi, and welcome back to Marine Parts TV. Today, I'm joined by Tim from Narva Products to discuss some of the comprehensive range of marine lighting electrical products that Narva supply. Welcome, Tim. Thanks, Richard. Great to be here. So, Tim, can you tell me a little bit about the uh, Narva Marine program? Yeah, sure. Look, a um, relatively new program. Uh, Marine's something we've been working on for a little while now. Um, great brand. Narva really know what they're doing in the lighting world on the automotive side of things, and um, it was time for us to, to jump into Marine. So. What we wanted to do was bring a full uh, full program, so full range width and everything sort of up to your yeah, sort of eight or eight and a half metre boat was sort of the, the target market. Um, Five-year warranty on the full program. Um, bring a little bit of innovation, uh, meet all the marine standards um, and, and ultimately bring, you know, what Nava is in automotive into the marine space. Tim, you've said you've got a range of products. Can you outline what that is for me, please? Yeah, sure. So pretty much covers the full lighting program, so everything from your nav lights, uh, anchor lights, uh, interior lighting, uh, deck lighting, right through to your switches, uh, consumables, um, you know, marine cable, um, et cetera, et cetera, trailer lighting. Uh, yeah, fairly, fairly wide range. I think pretty much anything, any sort of light you want to fit to a boat that fits on a trailer, um, I'd like to think we've... We've got it. You've got the solution. So what I can see in front of us, you've got from the anchor light on top right down to the trailer light. So you cover everything lighting wise in a marine application. Yep. So what sets Narva apart? Yeah, great question. Um, and look, you know, as, as a body myself, when I when I look at the, the lighting options, probably what I saw was a, a, a really big gap in sort of that middle ground. And there was a lot of entry level product that warranties were unclear. You know, how long was the warranty? Was it a year? In some cases, did it even exist? Um, did it meet the, the marine standards, right? Big, really big, important um, part of that puzzle. And we found a lot of product out there didn't. Um, so really the brief was to, to give the customer um, a, a product that has a little bit of innovation, that looks great, that meets all the standards, has a five-year warranty, and, and isn't gonna cost them an arm and a leg. You know, we're not, we're not the cheapest, we're not the most expensive, but we're sitting somewhere around that middle zone there. So we really wanted to bring a full, uh, a full program um, with great value um, for the consumer um, as well as great function. Tim, you talk about innovation. Can you um, show us some of the innovations that are inside this Navigator light bar? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so this is uh, this has got a little bit of uh, a little bit of innovation, in it, which is quite cool. So this runs um, what we call. Really? what we call optic drive technology and probably the first thing you'll notice about this bar is that the LEDs are actually in the bottom of the light bar as opposed to the back. Okay. So traditionally a light bar will run an LED uh, in the back of the lamp and use the lens to control um, the throw of light. It's actually a reasonably uh, inefficient way um, to control light through a lens, quite old technology. If you look at a car headlamp um, for example, they're using a similar um, technology to what we're using here and effectively what the, the LED is doing is it's emitting the, the light upwards into this reflector which I'm not sure if you can see that there in the uh, in the camera or if you can see that there Richard. Yep, yep I can see that. But the design of the reflector effectively squeeze the design of the reflector and that controls the light so the light's bouncing up and out and the shape of the reflector allows us to use every single bit of light um, out of every one of those LEDs. What does that mean in the real world? What that means is um, a lot less stray light. So um, typically you'll get light going up, down, out the sides where you don't need it. Um, so yeah, you capture all of that light. Um, so we quote you get 30% more light than a traditional um, style of light bar as a result of that optic drive technology. So that optic drive technology is effectively taking the light emitted by the diode and you get to control where it goes to without any loss of light. Yep. Okay. Yep, and we can put that light exactly where we want to put it. Whereas with a lens, um, you know, that, that traditional style of, of throw, throw of light is very hard to, to control. So, um, okay. yeah, we control it a lot better, throw it where we want. Um, so, yeah, more usable light where you want it. And these are available in a directional spotlight and also a floodlight application, aren't they? This, is, this particular series here is, um, I guess, is the best of both worlds. Yeah. So um, we've designed that to, to give you um, distance as well as a reasonable width as well. So 
Um, an example, this is um, three, uh, 9,000 lumens of light, so one lux of light yeah. at 345 metres. That's a question, 9,000 lumens. Lots of people ask the question, what does lumens mean? What does that refer to? So could you answer that for me? Yeah, good question. Uh, it can be a little bit confusing. So while we quote lumens uh, on almost all of our um, uh, volume lighting products, we actually have made a, a, a decision to, to measure things a little bit differently, which is a lot clearer for the consumer. So, um, for example, you may have um, heard me quote one lux before. Um, so this particular light here um, will give you one lux of light at 345 metres. And it's much easier to explain. So one lux, in simple terms, is enough light for you to read a magazine under. So what we're saying is at uh, 345 metres, with this bar pointing that way, you could stand down there and, and, and read a book. Um, so much easier for the consumer to understand what does 9,000 lumens mean in the real world? Because yeah. there can be lots of different ways to measure um, lumens, effective lumens, raw lumens, you know. How close are you measuring um, that, that output at? So it's, um, yeah, but in saying that, it's a marketing term, so we still have to stick with it. The other thing you'll find on, on, on all of our deck lamps, all of our um, LED light bars, we run a Lux chart. So when a, um, when a customer uh, picks up up the product, they can see the Lux chart there. Okay. And the idea of that is it shows you the distance and also the width of the light beam. So without without fitting it to your boat, it can be quite tricky to know what 9,000 lumens means. means. Yep. So this, that chart gives you all that information. In theory, light's yep. here, I could be standing there with my magazine reading it in the dark. Yep. So Tim, you spoke before about some of the ratings of the lights. So can you explain the industry ratings on this light product, please? Yeah, sure. So one of the uh, important things about a product like this, which lives you know, on the front of the boat, exposed to um, salt water, a lot of water, is, is its water ingress rating. So um, this is rated to IP68 and 69K, which basically means that um, you could take a water blaster at close range, high pressure water blaster, and water blast this light bar. You could also submerse it a metre underwater um, and have no water ingress. No water inside it at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, it's actually quite tricky to do in a light bar because um, as the LEDs um, heat up, the light bar heats, and when you turn it off, it cools. And when you're heating and cooling, you've got pressure changes and, and all sorts going on. So one of the other innovation, uh, bits of innovation is this, is this is actually a one-piece one piece bar as, as opposed to many other bars which run end caps on the end. End caps are really difficult to seal when you're heating and cooling. Um, so what we do is we, we run a one-piece um, unit uh, and we've actually got a, a, a genuine Nitto breather here um, which um, handles those um, applications. So it allows the lamp to heat and cool and breathe, also allows it to be submersed um, mm -hmm. and handle a water blaster on the back of it. So um, super watertight. Cool, excellent. So that Nitto device manages all those pressure changes with yep. temperature. Okay. Yep. Allows us to have that one piece housing, which gives us those really high IP ratings, super water type. Yep. And it looks smart as well, without all the end caps and other parts, it's a nice. It does. And the other thing you'll notice when you pick that up is the weight. Very um, light. Very light indeed, so um, significantly lighter than, again, your traditional style of light bar. And mounting bracketry for these, what, what options do you have for mounting these light bars? Yep. So they come with uh, all the mounting hardware is 316 grade stainless steel, which is the other. Thing that's important obviously in marine um, marine applications uh, but you get effectively a box of goodies um, and inside here we have a couple of l-shaped l-shaped brackets which make for nice simple uh, flush mounting that way Show you here. So super tidy. So I'm not sure if you can see there, but the the bolt actually is hidden yep. through that little indent there, so you don't see that from the front, and then tucked nicely, nicely underneath, and obviously adjustable. Next, and that can be mounted vertically, horizontally, all sorts of different attitudes and angles. Correct. Yep. So Tim, can we expect to see more innovative products from Narva in the future? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, I won't go into too much detail on that. Don't want to tell you all our secrets, but. Uh, 
yeah, there's probably a couple of little tweaks to existing products that will, you know, um, just take them that little bit further, um, as well as a couple of innovative things that we're, we're working on too. So, yeah, watch this space. Excellent. Tim, thank you very much for your time today. No worries, thank you. To see more of what's on offer from Naba, visit our website, promptparts.co.nz. I'm Richard, I'll see you next time.